I am Dread Nautius and welcome to 60 Second Reviews. When I first laid eyes on the GT710, my initial thoughts were, what's the actual point of this? Out of curiosity, I wanted to see whether they beat my current generation of onboard graphics. So I whipped out the 980Ti, plugged in their HDMI port to the motherboard and connected it to my secondary monitor, and ran a couple of benchmarks on the onboard graphics. I did CSGO, Dota 2, Prison Architecture, and just for a laugh, Tomb Raider to see if we could actually run it. And then when my GT710 arrived, I whipped that in, ran the benchmarks again, and compared them to my onboard graphics. The CPU I'm running is the 477K, overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz, and I was convinced my onboard graphics were going to murder this card. Apparently not. So without further ado, here are some 60 second benchmarks. So without further ado, here are some 60 second benchmarks. Okay, so nobody's going to buy a GT710 and pair it with an i7-4777K overclock to 4.4 GHz. That's not the point of this card. So remains the question, should you actually buy one? Absolutely not. You can go on eBay and pick up a second-hand card for maybe £20 more and absolutely destroy this card. So can I actually find a use for it? The answer is yes. My four-year-old son has recently started playing games on tablets and on my smart television. And whenever I'm tinkering with that, He's always interested in what's going on. So I'm going to take the GT710 and build him his own very first PC, a mini Steam machine that can play the basics of games. I'm going to get a new motherboard, with new everything, new processor, new RAM, all in a nice neat case. And it can be his first experience of building his own PC at four years old using nothing but new parts. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. So without further ado, here, here, 